Hundreds of people passed the F-Rib construction site on Michigan State's campus, but few truly understand the importance of what's happening behind the fence. As Susan L. Corey reports, the facility being built is putting East Lansing on the map as one of the top places in the world for nuclear research. Everywhere you look, there's something made out of atoms. A tree, a phone, even a bike. So it's surprising we don't know much about the most fundamental element of life. We we're trying to do research to try to understand how atoms work, what, what holds them together. And we realized there were big open uh, questions that we couldn't, we simply couldn't answer because we didn't have the right kind of research capabilities. Which is why scientists are creating just the tool they'll need, the facility for rare isotope beams. And it may help them answer other questions researchers haven't been able to figure out. Where we came from, uh, how the universe got to be the way it is, um, what are the fundamental forces and particles that we find in nature. It starts with a beam that speeds up elements to half the speed of light, then sends them down a tunnel towards a target. The impact causes the elements to break apart, producing rare isotopes, which scientists can then separate for research. We can study the um, origin of elements. The elements keep on being made in stars. We can um, learn about the application of rare isotopes to society that can have medical applications, biological applications. If it looks and sounds complicated, that's because it is, which is why it takes years of studying and lots of curiosity to work on a project like this that's never been done before. I stay up at night because I'm worried about, you know, what really holds an atom together? And so then asking those kind of questions then leads us to needing the research facilities to answer them. It's always about asking the next question and coming up with the next research area. So the result of one experiment opens up a million new questions for the next one. Before that can happen, the facility needs to exist. Four buildings and all the necessary equipment. A project with a $730 million price tag. And it's all happening right now on Michigan State University's campus. It's really extraordinary. You have the top scientists, uh, theorists, as well as uh, people who do acceleration, accelerator technology from all over the world coming uh, to East Lansing. Building an international scientific community and providing research opportunities for years to come. In East Lansing, Susan L. Corey, Fox 47 News. The FRIB could create hundreds of jobs and generate over $1 billion of investment in mid-Michigan. Construction is expected to be completed by 2020.